Welcome to the Dr. Franklin G. Norris Annual Pilot Awards for Mercy Flight Southeast, our first virtual recognition of the pilots who give so much every year. Please join us in congratulating our pilots for their heroic efforts and thanking the Dr. Franklin G. Norris family for honoring Dr. Norris's legacy by sponsoring this prestigious event. In the following minutes, we'll be handing out awards such as Pilot of the Year in our various categories and regions, as well as hearing from passengers expressing their gratitude for eliminating transportation as one of the hurdles to having access to the doctors that can save their lives. Enjoy. I'm Ben Coleman, one of your hosts here at the Florida Aviation Network, and it's our pleasure to bring a special program to you this evening. And it is, we, we smile and we have a, a good time doing this, but it's a very, very serious, serious business that we're involved with here. This is the Mercy Flight Southeast Awards Program, and I'm just honored to be one of your hosts. We have another host here on set I'm going to introduce you to, but we have Steve, Steve Perello. My pleasure. Thank you very Welcome, much for having Steve. us. And Steve, I'm going to reach over you and I'm going to touch this man here, Mr. Ron Timmerman. And uh, Ron is uh, another host here, and uh, this is such an important activity. It takes not one, but two hosts to help us with this award program. But Steve, we, uh, we need to ask a few questions just to set the stage right here. How do you become a Mercy Flight pilot? Great, thank you for asking and, and thanks for having us here this evening. The way to be able to become a Mercy Flight pilot is very easy. Someone can go right on to mercyflightse.org and uh, a qualified private pilot would be able to go through and answer a number of questions and uh, be able to take a few tests and have ourselves um, be able to sign up pretty quickly. Um, it, a typical private pilot with 250 hours of total time would be able to pass a test. Well, in 250 hours, I think that's the threshold for commercial activity uh, to get a commercial. And we want to do things smooth. I'm sure you're looking for pilots that that know how to operate an aircraft and be the, as they say in the in the uh, regulations, the obvious master of the aircraft. Yeah, 250 hours, I think it's the um, amount of time that not only are you comfortable flying the aircraft, but if there's a little bit of commotion going on in the back and, you know, uh, the, the passenger wants to ask something or so that you're not going to get distracted by that. So you're mm -hmm. comfortable in, in being able to fly the plane. Well, and I tell you, uh, Steve, the 
just in general, and I know we're talking primarily about uh, Mercy Flight pilots uh, this evening, but just in general, if someone wanted to really focus on becoming a pilot, throw us a little bit about how they would do that. Just, just walk us through just a small thread of just becoming a pilot. Oh, a pilot overall? I think there's something that, that uh, boils up inside you one day and you say, I, I want to add that layer to, to my life. And, and uh, it's a really a privilege, I think, is probably the word that, that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. And then if you can take that privilege and uh, not just use it for going to get the proverbial $100 hamburger, but put it to a, a fantastic use like mm -hmm. helping someone else, it's a great excuse to be able to fly. And, and also, Steve, the th there's a certain persona that we, uh, you're out in the, about out in the store and somebody finds out that there's a pilot here. There's a certain uh, expectation as far as being uh, uh, humility, uh, being kind of low key, soft spoken, uh, not boisterous or look at me. And uh, you know, one of the most famous uh, tags about somebody before, just before they have an accident is, hey, watch this. There's no watch this, I don't think, in the, in the Mercy Flight arena. Uh, you know, there's an old joke in, in the pilot world that if you go to a party and there's 100 people there, which one is the pilot? And the answer is, don't worry, he'll tell you. <laughs> but you know what? That's really not the case with our pilots. Well, and, and let me correct you here. And not he, but he or she. Ah, thank you. That we have a lot of and we need more. fantastic... Uh, Women, and don't let this get out, I hope this isn't going out anywhere, but women actually make a little bit better pilots than men because they seem to be a little bit more focused on detail and they've had to work harder to get that, that recognition or achieve that certification. And I think Ron will back me up on that later on. I will indeed, and I've uh, had the pleasure just uh, in the recent past uh, of training a female pilot along with her husband, and they were both excellent pilots, and I was delighted to, to work with both of them. <clears throat> just wanted to say that uh, an opportunity to fly for Mercy Flight Southeast and other such organizations is a wonderful way for uh, pilots to give back to the aviation community, a selfless service. And it's, uh, I applaud all those that we're going to award tonight and those that aren't going to be recognized, but they also are hard workers for Mercy Flight and other such organizations. Well spoken, Ron. And Steve, tell us a little bit what Grayson's about about, about ready to show us on this evening. Ah, Grayson is the granddaughter of Dr. Franklin G. Norris, and uh, Dr. Norris was a thoracic surgeon and a pilot in World War II, and the Norris uh, Foundation has agreed to be able to sponsor this awards uh, ceremony and sometimes uh, in-person uh, awards gala uh, tonight and, and for the past five years, and we are so very grateful that, that they've been able to do that for us. Let's see what she has to say. Sounds good. My name is Grayson Merritt and it is my honor to serve on the Norris Foundation and to be here to celebrate with each of you. What a year Mercy Flight has had. You each have taken your time, passion and talent and are using it to make such a powerful impact on our community. We thank you on behalf of my family for your willingness to make such a difference and to bless so many families because of your generosity. This event is made possible because of one man's legacy. My grandfather, Dr. Franklin Gray Norris, dedicated his life to making a difference. Losing his father at a young age, leaving him to care for his sick mother, yet becoming a cardiac thoracic doctor and earning degrees from both Duke and Harvard University, to fighting in World War II in the Battle of the Bulge, earning him the distinct air medal of the three oak leaf clusters. He overcame adversity and strived to instill the importance of selfless service and dedication to making a long lasting impact. As I look into my children's eyes, it is my prayer that they will be filled with the same strife and dedication, but most importantly, the same service to not only their families, their careers, their communities, but also their country. My prayer is that my grandfather's legacy of selfless service and tenacious drive to make a difference will continue for generations to come. We thank you each for your dedication to Mercy Flight. We thank you for your commitment to making a difference and touching so many families. Congratulations on another year of making such an incredible impact on the patients and families that you graciously bless. 
Your willingness to serve and dedication to ensuring those in our community are able to access the health care they truly need embodies the legacy of my grandfather, Dr. Franklin Gray Norris. Congratulations. And folks, I can't think of a more fitting tribute to what truly was a, a good man and a tremendous aviator uh, this evening. And uh, we, we thank you. We thank you very much. How about some testimonials? I think Mr. Uh, Ron Timmermans has something to say about, uh, I think, at least a couple folks that have uh, some testimonials. Indeed I do, Ben. So how do you know if you're doing a good job? Well, you ask the people uh, for whom you're performing the service. and. Uh, the, the testimonials we have uh, tonight, I'm just going to read uh, but three of them, but there's, uh, there are three of many, many more that are like this. <clears throat> the first is from a, a young lady named Darlene, who she was, uh, we captured this as she was preparing to fly with a, a, a Mercy Flight Southeast pilot named Edward uh, Patinaud. And uh, Darlene goes on to say, there are no words to express the amount of gratitude I have for all the wonderful and excellent pilots that have flown all of our missions to Gainesville and back home for all your hard work to find us pilots with the help of Steve, that would be you Steve, and including everyone there who contribute their time to make sure every patient is cared for and every effort is made to complete the missions. Thank you. And that was from Darlene. Beverly, along with her dog Charlie, who accompanied her on the flight as she was preparing to fly with uh, David Dirac, Beverly says, I want to thank you deeply for the flights from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to Raleigh-Durham Airport and back home again. You've been providing me these flights for the past four to five years, and without your help, I would not be able to get to my appointments, admissions, or plasmapheresis treatments at Duke University Hospital and Medical Center. These have been necessary to combat the symptoms of severe generalized my, myasthenes, my, my, myasthenia gravis, a disease of neuromuscular transmission. If you're a physician, you know I mispronounced that, but that's all right, I guess. Uh, she goes on to say, if not for Mercy Flight Southeast, I wouldn't even be in a position to consider going to Duke regularly. The cost of finding a place to stay for the weekly duration of the treatment, taxis back and forth to Duke for each treatment session, food and escalating medical bills has become more of a pressing issue. If not for the generosity of Mercy Flight and your pilots, this would not be an option for me. That was from Beverly. And then finally from Michelle, <clears throat> many thanks uh, that she says, Mercy Flight Southeast is an organization that lives up to their name. I am grateful for the kindness and skills of the pilots, coordinators, and staff for being able to use their services so that I can go to my cancer treatment appointments. The organization is more than a transportation service. It is a place of sincere caring for their passengers. When traveling, they always make sure that I feel safe and comfortable. If it were not for their service, it would not have been much more, it would have been much more challenging to manage my medical treatments. Thank you for going above and beyond in caring for me and our communities. That from Michelle. Three very satisfied passengers, Ben, Steve, congratulations. I'm sure there are many, many more, but these three I uh, wanted to highlight for our audience tonight. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Ron. And I'm so, and by the way, that cost me 25 bucks to get Ron to read that because I would have just, just butchered it because Obi knows I make up words when I can't really pronounce something. So. Well done, Ron. Okay, let's watch uh, some slideshow, and we're going to uh, see what these folks do when they're doing their passion.
Steve, I know you're set up in eight different regions here with Mercy Flight Southeast, and to begin this process of recognizing our honorees, Ron, would be so kind of you to uh, start this process with talking about our honorees, and then we'll have Steve jump in. Okay, very good. So um, I'm sure it was a tough selection, Steve, from all the uh, pilots that we saw in the video just a few moments ago and, and others that we didn't see. But um, of the eight regions, let's start with the uh, Florida Panhandle region. Uh, two names of uh, pilots that were nominated for Pilot of the Year, Stephen Bryan and Leonard Shores. Both outstanding pilots, and we thank them for their, uh, their service. And I will, I'm pleased to announce that the Pilot of the Year for the Florida Panhandle this year is Lenny Shores. Well, congratulations, Leonard Shores, Pilot of the Year for the Florida Panhandle region. Very good. And now on to the North Florida region, three nominees. Kerry, North Florida region, Kerry Br Bentley, George Robbins, and Eugene Fraser. Steve? And I would like to point out what those little flags are next to each of the names. They are uh, designated for the pilots that we have that are also veterans as a nod to them. So thank you for your service. And for the North Florida region, outstanding effort for 58 flights over the course of the year, Mr. Kerry Bentley. Kerry Bentley, congratulations. Is this where you handshakes, hand claps? Yes, I think that would be a great idea. We should. <laughs> there we go. Very good. And uh, so that was the North Florida region. Now the Central Florida region, the 2020 Pilot of the Year for Mercy Flight Southeast. One nominee, Frank Bruno. And the sole winner for the Central Florida East region for this year is Mr. Frank Bruno. And the comp competition was stiff. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Frank. And now for the Mississippi region of Mercy Flight Southeast, Mississippi region, the nominee is Ernest Burdett. And the winner for Mississippi, the 2020 Pilot of the Year and consistent contributor, Mr. Ernest Burdett. There we go. Very good. Good, Ernest. Congratu Congratulations, Ernest. And now for the Central Florida West region, Central Florida West, Nominees this time are James Jordan, Thomas Bishop, and Michael Kutcher. And the winner? And the winner for the 2020 Pilot of the Year Central Florida West region is Mr. Michael Coucher. Michael. Very good. Year. Congratulations to you, Michael. And now for the Southwest Florida region of Mercy Flight. Southwest region. The nominees are Paul Sellez, Gregory Frost, and Kirk Cianasio. And the winner for the 2020 Pilot of the Year in the region for Southwest Florida is Kirk Cianasio. Thank you, Kirk. Kirk, congratulations. And now the South Florida region, three nominees. The first one, Milton McConnell. And the next one is Kenneth Stahl. And finally, Julian Veach. And the winner for South Florida 2020 Pilot of the Year is Julian Veach. Congratulations, Julian. There is a separate region for the state of Alabama, the Alabama region, and one nominee this year, Daniel Barreto. Daniel Barreto, Alabama region. And the winner of the 2020 Pilot of the Year, Alabama, and this reason, the reason he won it in this particular case is he was also doing a heart transplant mission, Mr. Daniel Barreto. That's very good. Congratulations, Daniel, and all of the region's winners from the eight regions, but uh, I believe there's a couple of more awards, Ben, that uh, would be want to recognize some folks. Steve, let's talk about some other awards that uh, are not normally in the mix, but uh, something that you want to recognize here as far as uh, one award is, I think they call it the Rookie of the Year. We do. We don't want you to think that that means that he's a rookie pilot and necessarily <clears throat> not as qualified as the rest, but that means that 
this pilot signed up in, in the year 2020 with us in his new two Mercy Flight Southeast. Not a new pilot, but new to Mercy Flight Southeast. Yes, sir. I got it. And uh, would we like to announce who that person would be? Yep. And the winner of the 2020 Pilot of the Year in the Rookie category is Mr. Eugene Frazier. Very good. Very good. And we, it wouldn't be the, an awards ceremony if you didn't come up with more awards. So <laughs> how about one more award? And uh, this is you, typically all of your pilots, all of your pilots do an excellent job at what they do. However, sometimes there's those who just seem to go just one little step further. And I think you call it the above and beyond. Above and beyond, yes. And, and we try to uh, take note of, of something that they've done in addition to maybe their piloting for the year and, uh, and some sort of contribution to the, uh, to the organization. And these three individuals certainly have done something uh, above and beyond for Mercy Flight Southeast in 2020. And that first one would be Dick or Richard Orenstein, who donated a considerable sum through his foundation for Mercy Flight Southeast, and we are greatly appreciative. And Mr. Keith Evans, who is a pilot for Mercy Flight Southeast, but has also been helping to run a poker run each year in Daytona Beach, along with his partner, Heather Rout, who year after year, and I believe we're on the ninth or 10th year of having a poker run there uh, in Daytona Beach. This year, we're going to be having a Rusty Wallace in the front of the pack and Doug Danger will be jumping the Mercy Flight Southeast airplane in the, that poker run there. So thank you very much to Heather Rout and Keith Evans. Thank you. Very, very good. Well, Steve, um, in addition to the regional uh, honorees that you just mentioned, as well as these two special awards, I'm sure there's a lot of other pilots that have flown without uh, any specific recognition tonight, but say pilot gets to at least three Mercy flight missions. Is that some kind of special recognition in and of itself? It is. We even say to pilots that are, that are asking, how often will I fly? How many you know, missions a year? I feel bad if I don't get to fly. And we often tell them, even if you can fly one mission a year, that's a tremendous help to us. But when you've done three, you certainly made an extra commitment to us, and we'd like to recognize those pilots tonight. Okay, and so, Ben, why don't you start off with recognizing many of the pilots, or some of the pilots who have flown at least three Mercy Flight missions in 2020. I would be honored, and let me apologize in advance if I uh, destroy someone's last name, but sometimes it's a challenge. But let's start with uh, David Rim and uh, Nathan Altman, Robin Singles, Kurt Zastro, James Allen, Donna Shannon, Timothy Russell, Pierre Chabrier, that's close, uh, Ralph Scott uh, Saunders, and David Tish? Tish. Tish. Sorry about that, David, and Robert Wall. All right, Steve, why don't you take the next group? Great. We'd also like to recognize Robert Bro. Charlie Gould, Daryl Thompson, David Ashman, Fred Nelson, Craig Simmons, Patrick Klein, Richard Langer, Jack Schuler, Ed Patinaud, and John Plumbo. And rounding out the list of pilots who have flown at least three missions or more during 2020 are Robert Nyman, James Hislop, Elena Lunin, Emil Beersford, Thomas King, and William DeThero. So these are all pilots that have flown at least three or more missions during uh, 2020 for Angel Flight. Yep. Let's give him a round of applause. And there's a couple of ladies on that list, if you've noticed. I noticed that. I noticed. Okay, and let's, uh, uh, one other group of uh, all-time leaders that we need to recognize. Please. And we're going to bounce this back and forth uh, so we have an opportunity to everyone uh, 
recognize these folks that have, uh, this is all time leaders and I think this adds up to over 660 missions. Yes, sir. And this is the all time leaders of the pilots who have been recognized this evening for another award. And in recognizing these all time leaders with over 660 flights, uh, Steve, let's, let's start with this and we're going to recognize them with uh, our, uh, our audible cla uh, clapping of the hands at the completion of the list. How's that? Very well. We'll hold, okay. the, we'll hold ourselves off. Take off. Okay. And at the top of that list with 231 lifetime flights, Mr. Kerry Bentley. And next we have uh, Mr. David Teich, I believe is the pronunciation. Teich. Teich, close, with 205 missions. With 170 missions, Mr. Michael Coucher. Mr. Charles Gould, and that's at 129. Mission. Also with 129 missions, Mr. Gregory Frost. And Ernest uh, Burdett, 128 missions. With 124 missions, George Robbins. James Jordan with 118 missions. With an even 100 missions, Mr. Paul Celez. And Mr. Jack, otherwise known as John H. Schuler, with 84 missions. With 81 missions, Ed Patnod. Also with 81 missions, Mr. Thomas Bishop. With 78 missions, Bill Dethrow. Stephen Bryant has flown 74 missions. With 70 missions, Patrick Klein. Robert Wall, 67 missions. With 65 missions, Scott Saunders. And Donna Shannon, 54 missions. And 46 missions in, Mr. Lenny Shores. And Robin Singles, congratulations, 44 missions for you. How about a nice round of applause, the applause. for these folks? Wow, what an evening. I tell you, the, uh, it, it, I just get goosebumps when I think about what, uh, what we're able to do is recognizing these folks for all of their work that they've done. That then, what else can we do to help, Steve? Well, we're so very grateful to all of the pilots for all they've done. We hope that this will go ahead and inspire more pilots to be able to, to donate more missions. We hope that, although they don't ask for it, that the pilots accept the recognition that we give them tonight and that will inspire them to fly more missions as well. We want to thank so much the Dr. Franklin Gray Norris uh, Foundation for sponsoring this night after night or year after year on, on these evenings. We want to thank the Florida Aviation Network for, for their contribution and all of the volunteers who come out and, and have done this event tonight as well as the other events that they film for us. And if you're not a pilot, uh, you can become a pilot. We'd love to have you. If you are a pilot, please sign up at Mercy Flight SE for Southeast, mercyflightse.org. Or you can just call us. We're happy to talk, uh, pilot talk anytime. It's 800-352-4256. And certainly donations are what makes this thing, uh, charity go. I mean. 24-7, we are answering the phones to be able to take people for either a liver transplant, a heart transplant, uh, different diseases we can't pronounce. Um, <laughs> Thank you. you know, if, if we've gone ahead and, and had a, a disaster, uh, we do disaster relief uh, for, for weeks on end when a, when a hurricane may hit. So uh, your donations are greatly appreciated to be able to help this 24-7 organization be able to, to be funded correctly. So thank you so much. Well, Steve, I, uh, let's let the evening uh, continue on with, the, with our recognition of these pilots and, uh, and everyone associated with your group. It's not just the, uh, there's a lot of folks that happen in the background. I do know that it's a, it's a small organization, but they do a lot of big work. And uh, we'd like to thank you again for giving us the opportunity to help share it's my that. My pleasure. Thank and you, Ron. <laughs> Ron, thanks for your help. You're welcome. And I'm going to get you on the dictionary. We're going to figure out some of those diseases so you can. Uh... <laughs> again, this is Ben Coleman, one of your hosts here at the Florida Aviation Network. We're going to sign off for this evening and let you enjoy the rest of your evening. And again, we apologize for some of our jovial uh, jousting up here. This is a very serious business that we're in, but we know that, and you know it as well. Have a good evening.